Here's a shortcut to be able to post to social media on your phone, but not get caught up in the app. So there are other ways to do this. Of course, there are things on your iPhone like app limits, screen time, downtime, those kinds of things. Those are great, but they do have their limits. For example, with app limits, it will only let you set your time and then let you know like 10 minutes before the time's up. Usually by then we've wasted a lot of time or maybe we need a reminder, oh right, I, I'm supposed to be on task so we can finish the thing we need to do. Because a lot of us posting to social media is part of our jobs, but we don't wanna spend all day doing it. Of course, it's worth noting that this is in opposition to what the social media platforms would like. We would like to get out and they want us to stay. So we need some reminders to help us get out of the app again. The difference with this shortcut is that it prompts you as time is passing as opposed to just, oh, by the way, you used up all the time. Already done. Don't worry about that. All right, so here's the shortcut. First, it's going to ask for text and it's going to prompt you to say, hey, what app are you opening this app to do? You fill in and say, I'm posting my latest video or I'm putting up a post, something. It's setting a variable. And then here is our number, and that means 10. So that's going to be the number of minutes that you can be in the app before you'll be prompted. It times 60 because 60 seconds, and it waits that long. If you shut off your phone and set it down, most of the time shortcuts is going to cut out. I wish it wouldn't, but often that is what happens. And then I have a repeat 15 times. You can change this, press and hold, change it to whatever you want. It's fine. So after those 10 minutes, it's going to come up with this repeat item that says, hey, are you done with? And then the thing that you said you were doing, you say yes or you say no. If you say yes, it's going to stop the shortcut and put you on the home screen. That means it's going to close out of the app. These prompts are going to go over top of the app that you're in. If you say no, it will wait that amount of time again. So it'll give you another 10 minutes. And because it's on repeat, it will prompt you again up to again, 15 times. So after 15 times, it's sort of just going to give up on you and it will keep going and it'll say, okay, we're exiting the app now. You've been in this app too long and it will just kick you out to the home screen. Can you open it up again? Yes, you can. But the whole idea of this is to help you remember to leave and make it slightly easier to leave that app when you've done the job you meant to do. Just having the shortcut alone is not enough. You need to go into automation and we're going to create a new automation that's based on an app, when an app is opened. So I'm gonna choose which app, and I'm gonna have Instagram, I'm gonna have TikTok, I'm gonna have, let's say, Facebook, and I'm gonna have YouTube Studio. And the whole point is, so I don't get caught up in the regular YouTube. So I don't get caught up in those things instead of what I'm supposed to be doing. So when any of these five apps are run, it's going to run this shortcut. And I'm going to say run immediately. Do not notify me. Do not require confirmation. Just start it because I want that 10 minute timer to start immediately. And then what do I want it to do when one of these apps are opened? And what I'm going to do is have it run a shortcut right here because it's at the top. Limit social media. So you can see when any of these five apps are opened, it's going to run the limit social media shortcut that I showed you before. If you don't want to create the shortcut yourself, you can download it on my website, conquer.consulting, under a blog post called Limit Social Media on Your iPhone. There I will have a link to this shortcut that you can download and install on your iPhone yourself. And if you are looking for videos that talk about things like screen time, app limits, downtime, stuff like that, I do have other videos that cover those iPhone features.